Hello everyone, welcome to Crafting with Barbara. So my tutorial today is going to be a fake bake but made out of clay. So you guys loved my little grape guy or girl, whatever you want to call it. So I did mention that I wanted to make the green grapes. So that's what we're doing today. I just got clay from Dollar Tree. I didn't feel like ordering and waiting. I'm going to get this out. Just give it a little ready to go here. I'm going to start with just one pack for now. See how much we get it. So, like I said, just get it nice and... And I think for this little guy, we're going to use some different eyes than what I used for that one. I don't know. We'll see. Tell it's a fresh pack and not a pack that was sitting there for a long time. <laughs> okay. So for this, all you do is just roll balls. That's it. You're going to roll some balls first. That sounds... Just rolling a whole bunch of balls. And as we're rolling, we're connecting. And you know clay sticks together. Once a piece hits another piece, it's going to stick. As you see, look. And you keep rolling and keep adding. Sorry about that, guys. There. You can see it a little better. Okay, I'll just keep rolling and connecting. See. And then we start off in the next row. And right under. Doing the same thing. Keep rolling and connecting. I was going to start it off camera. Uh, I figured you guys need to. That way you get it from the beginning to the end. As you see, see? Simple. I think the grape was one of my easiest ones. See. Yeah, you see gaps, but
just keep rolling balls, little balls, and just placing them. See how simple that was? Like I said, don't worry about the gaps. Let's see if we can make this one maybe just a little bit bigger. I don't know. We'll see. doing is placing on top. See? Like I said, it's nothing really, really hard. <clears throat> You're just rolling little balls into the center of your hand, of your palm. where you want it. To look more filled in and more how you want it. You're just rolling. I know you guys probably like. like a little on um a little lemon I see I put one more little one down here at the bottom maybe one little one up here at the corner to like play around with it a little bit and shape it like with my hat. Oh, that was a good catch. Shape it with my hands.
just got a little piece of like a light brown to make like our little little stem. And then I flatten just one side of the stem. Give it like a little flatness. And we're gonna glue that in up here. And then we have to make our leaves. Don't try that at home. A little dab there. I do it just to make sure that we're going to be good on our little stem. And you know what? Even though I set glue on it, I'm going to wipe that glue slowly off. And I set that there for a minute. Because we're going to put our eyes in. After we put our eyes in, then we're going to put, I'm not going to use the same eyes that I used on this one. <clears throat> um, so, I want to try these. I love these. So, let me see what size I want to do. I said before just a little bit of of um glue Got the eyes in. Um, we need a little nose. We need a little nose. So what I do with the nose is just take a tiny little piece, roll it the same way, a little ball, and then give it a little flatness to it. take our little two little thing I told you guys about and we're gonna make it some little nostrils some little nostrils okay then we're gonna take a tiny piece and make it some little eye parts right here like this one has and just another little ball and just roll it straight and then place it Like I showed you just now, and just oop, that one came out like a little chubby on one side.
Okay, so now we're going to take, remember this little tube I told you guys about. I don't know what these things are called. <clears throat> and we're going to make a mouth. <clears throat> so for the mouth, you see how there's already like a little... that I use for the stem. Take a little piece, roll it into a little ball, tiny little ball, flatten it. I'm going to place it right in our mouth. We're going to use the same little tube. Push it in. And then we need to make some leaves. Now, I don't like the fact that I have to use the same one I'm using for it to make the leaves as well because I couldn't find none darker which I could add some paint but then I don't feel like making a mess so we're just going to do it with this so I wanted to try I found just flattening up a piece of clay I found these molds for um, leaves, so I wanted to try it out. And see how they work. And if I can get, oh, those are pretty. Okay, there we go, we'll use that. So, you just take, I'm going to start placing it. See, I don't like how it's the same uh, green. Wait a minute, guys. too bad once I get the rest of them on. Let's get our little water stem. Now, I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to use these but then I'm going to go back with like a darker green and like touch it up with some paint. That's what we'll do. So there's one leaf on it. Let's make another. Great thing is since it's already like right there. So I know it looks like that, but like I said, I'm, I'm going to go back. And then I have a smaller one. The small one didn't work.
it work this time. Yeah. We're good. Small one there. Okay. Now let's get another small one. Another small one. Sit back here. Yeah, I only put two big ones. I think that's good. So now we're going to take some clay. We still have to make our little feet and our little arms. So I'm not trying to hold you guys here forever. But, um, so we're going to take little balls again. And we're going to roll them like little spaghettis. Okay? And then that's what we're going to put here. And then you just roll them. Twist them and roll them. See? Maybe we could do like three or four. See how simple it is? Okay, we're gonna move that to the side. We're going to open up. Like I said, this one is like a little, it's different because I use like a lighter purple to make my little nose and my little um, legs and arms. So for this one, I'm just using all green and all the same green, because like I said, Get this piece ready. We're going to need toothpicks. And then, excuse me, as well for this one, um, I did this like around. So we're going to leave the, the purple grape as the girl grape because that's like girly. And we're going to leave him just like that. Okay, now getting some more nice and ready. And I'm going to show you how to do the arms. Well, the hands. You know, the arms. Okay. Mm. I never measure. I kind of like go with what I feel is a good size, which, see that? That's too big. Okay. See? That's it. 
and then on one side I flatten it you see how when you flatten it how it takes that shape that's it there's one arm Try to match them as best as I can. Because like I said, I don't measure it. I just go with my heart. <clears throat> See? See how that is too wide at one end? Let me take just a little bit of That's one end. Just use my finger, I flatten it, then I shape the rest how I want it. Let me see. And there's her other arm, or well, his other arm. And then the same thing with the feet. I just try to go maybe a little bit bigger with the feet. Same way, you just, at one side, just roll it. I apologize, I'm going to do that over. I didn't realize I wasn't in the camera. So just roll it like a ball. And then with your same hand, you're stretching it like a little hot dog. But only you're stretching it more at one end than the other end. Oop. Same thing. Sometimes I even do this. Use the palm of my hand to give it that good shape. You want? See? And then there's one leg. Let's get the other leg. Same thing. You just shape it how you want it. You can make them bigger. You can make them smaller. It's up to you. See, now that one looks a little bit bigger than the first one. So now we're going to do the first one over and add a little bit more clay. Clay to the side for a minute. I feel like my sweater's choking me. Okay, we're gonna get our toothpicks. I just get two toothpicks in each one. I just break in half. <clears throat> then take our glue. I put it right in just a little bit, not the whole way. I grab it to where I want it. Let's see, we're going to put the arm right here. And then I'm going to just grab the other toothpick. Do the same thing. where you want okay and then do it again to get your feet in Okay. 
see how they're all in there. I take my glue. I like to start with the feet when it comes to putting the little. So I just take the glue and I do this. And as I'm doing this, you see I'm getting glue. And then the foot. You just push it in here nice. Same thing on your other side for your other leg. Slowly inject it. Okay. Now while you still have it in your hand, slowly do the same thing for the hands. Push it in, shape it to where you want it to be right against, I'll show you on this side. Okay, the same thing. I just like to make sure it has, you know, a good amount of um, glue. Then with your hand, you just... Inject it in there, get right where you, and just shape it. You see how I shaped it into, all right. And there we go, guys. And when I set it down to dry, sometimes I will sit something under it. Like, um, I'll find something else in there. Um, like this, see, just a little. And what I do is, I just like put it under the little legs. That way they stay in place and they like not leaning down drying. They're drying and up where you need them to be. Okay. And like I told you before, I always go back with my little tool, tool thing. And just push in the little nostrils again. I take this again and just... Push into the mouth again. I think you need another piece of brown in the mouth. It's like disappearing. I feel like. I think this might work better. Sometimes I do this. Try to put it like right at it. Just pushing it back in. See? So on this one, I put, I had these little um, things I told you guys I got from my mom, Timo. So on that one, I put the purple grapes, of course. I don't have purple grapes now to put on this one. So I think I'm going to leave that one as it is.
have to just leave it like that. And then maybe later on I'll find something to put. Yeah, I think we're going to have it even like that. There's nothing else that I can put on it like I did over there. Excuse me for one second, guys. Just take a little bit of paint, dab the brush in it. And I don't know if this is going to work, but If you feel like your stem is too low, do what I just did. Just pinch it and bring it up a little bit. Okay. So we're done with our little grape guy. I love it. So this is the first one and this is the second one. I love it. And then, like I said, when they dry, when they completely dry, I cover them with clear coat. That's why this one looks a lot more shinier than this one. Because this one's dried and covered with um, clear coat. Okay. So, real quick, before I end this, I want to show you guys something. 
So you guys know I'm always ordering on Timo. Okay, so I'm going to share with you guys real quick. Remember, I got um these. I think it was from Amazon. It's like a whole little packet. A whole bunch of different ones. So, I want to share with you guys these eyes that I got from Timo. Look how big they are. I can make something bigger. Um, I got this adorable mold because I think I need to make my little character some glasses sometimes. Um, I got these eyes as well. And these are different. And they're circled. Like this mode to make some little chocolate. And I need to show you guys that I got this adorable mode to do an adorable bear. I want to make this. And then I got a mold to make a little face that I have in my freezer that we can take out now real quick. And it makes a tiny little face ain't that cute so I thought this would be cute with maybe these little eyes but the very tiny tiny ones let me see let me stick one on it and see what happens I'll put them on backwards, guys. <laughs> My goodness. That's it right there. Let it dry so I can see what I come up with. But that was a tiny little mole I got. It was costing me on team. I think it was like 90 cents. And <coughs> I got these adorable little liquor bottles for like decorations and stuff. I want to see what I make with them. And that's pretty cool. So that's what I wanted to share with you. Oh, wait. And I wanted to show you guys. My sister got me this. I'm going to make some fake popcorn out of clay. See what I come up with. And my daughter got me this. Because she knows I love Jack and stuff. But I'm going to paint it myself. But I'm not using those markers. I'm going to use paint. So I got to see what I come up with next. So, let's end this tutorial here. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you guys try out the grape. You know, you guys, I know a couple of you did um, made my own flower over. So, let's see if you guys can make uh, the grape over, which I know you can. Once, once a crafter, always a crafter. Okay, so here's our little guy again. The one on the floor. Okay. I think he turned out cool. So comment down below and tell me if you guys enjoyed this tutorial and what fruit would you like to see me make next? Or not even fruit or vegetable. I'll try something new with you guys. So, comment down below. Let me know. Please don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.